I guess I chose to do the Mort Dartha um, because it is, in a way, the great and perhaps the first great English epic. Um, it was printed uh, by Caxton in 1485, and Shakespeare would have known this, this great work. Um, Mallory wrote it during the time of the Wars of the Roses. We think he was in prison at that time, but outside, Henry VI and Richard III were um, you know, thrashing away. Um, so it seemed like a very good uh, story for us as the RSC to be, to be working on. Um, it's a project that has been around the RSC for a long time, mostly through John Barton, who has done many workshops and, and explored the text with actors. Um, and I, uh, he and I had a, a conversation uh, about how maybe to take it one step further and do a full dramatization of it. And he graciously said to me it was completely impossible. So <laughs> that may be why I'm trying to do it. I don't know. Um, it seemed like a very good project at this particular moment, too, because uh, I wanted to work with the ensemble. I haven't had the opportunity of doing that before. Um, and it seemed you know, that I could develop it with them over two years, which is what we've been able to do. Um, also, in the context of the recent history of the RSC, having done Mike Boyd's great history cycle, it's lovely to see these, this story, which was written at the time when all those events of Henry VI and Richard III, etc., were, were happening. So um, it's, it seemed like the right moment to do it. What I love about Mallory's version of this great tale of the, of the Mort d'Arthur, of, of the legend of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, um, is it tells you the stories you know and also the stories you didn't know. So, for instance, it starts with the sword in the stone, Arthur becomes king, um, he becomes infatuated with Queen Morgosa, uh, he and Morgosa have sex together, and unbeknownst to him, he realizes he has had sex with his sister, and the product of that union is his nemesis, Mordred. So just at the moment when he becomes Henry V, and this great, glorious, great king of England, we also discover that he has to, Merlin advises him to get rid of Mordred. And the only way of doing that is rounding up all the children that were born on that day, putting them on a ship, and then wrecking the ship. So just at the point when he's Henry V, he's also King Herod. Um, and that, that's unexpected and astonishing to me. Some of the other stories um, are when we worked the, 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 the most, if you like, the end of the, uh, of the book of Mort d'Arthur itself, um, you get that the story sort of comes together in the most extraordinary way, in the perhaps more familiar setting of the adultery of, of Guinevere and, and Lancelot, uh, leading through to the last battle, and Excalibur going back into the lake, if you like. Um, and we realized that there were so many stories in the Mort Darth and so much to tell that we would, if you like, tell the stories that you needed to know for those characters who, who, who complete the tale in the, in the Mort Darth itself. Um, so we wanted to tell the story of Sir Gareth, for instance, and rejected the, the more familiar story of Tristan and Isolde, um, which is from another tradition. Um, we tell the story of uh, Gawain, um, albeit leave out uh, the Green Knight, um, which doesn't appear in the Mort d'Arthur. Um, and we, we wanted to make sure that you knew that the, the audience hear how the round table came to be. It was a wedding present from um, Queen Guinevere's father, Leodegrans. Um, you, you're told the stories that you need to know leading up to the Holy Grail. The Grail stories suddenly shift you in a completely different world. The Grail suddenly turns into uh, the world of Hieronymus Bosch. It is extraordinary and unexpected and frightening and weird, frankly. Um, so there's a lot of variety within the, the, the whole shape of the, the whole piece, and it is epic. We've done it in three parts over one evening, um, and those parts are each quite distinct as well. So it is, um, it's, a, it's a mammoth event.